Good evening, everybody. Uh, Chief Meteorologist Patrick Bigby with your tropical update brought to you by Eddie Pearson Roofing. Let's go ahead and talk about what we're looking at into the tropics this evening. Of course, we're still watching Tropical Storm Dawn, but we're watching a little area of uh, disturbance that is moving off the coast of Africa. First things first, Dawn, still out here into the North Atlantic, 800 miles southwest of the Azores. Winds are about 45 miles an hour. And this is going to remain a tropical storm over the next several days into the weekend. But notice as it goes northeast, it'll move into some colder water as we go towards Sunday night and into Monday and then it'll begin to weaken and then it'll lose its tropical characteristics. So that one will remain a fish storm. No big problems there. We're watching this other cell. Uh, this uh, area of disturbed weather coming off the coast of Africa uh, right now has a 20% chance of developing mainly in the next uh, four to seven days out here into the central Atlantic. And we'll have to watch this. The models show this sort of drifting off towards the west. But as you'll notice, there's not a lot of the whole development with this. Now, one thing of, of note, is that the uh, is that the Gulf, I mean, the uh, North Atlantic is going to kind of remain blocked. We're going to see an area of high pressure off towards the north, and that's going to kind of shut things down. So we'll see this area of high pressure, and that'll keep it from curving off towards the north. So eventually that storm system will move westward into the Caribbean as we go towards the middle to late part of the week. But of good news... There's not a lot, if any, development with this storm after it gets into the Caribbean. So we may see this become a tropical depression, but we're not worried about this impacting us at this time. Uh, still a long way between now and then, but of course, we'll watch it nonetheless. But something of interest to watch over the next several days. If it were to become a, uh, a st named storm, the next name on the list is Emily, followed by Franklin. 